After four years of construction, Norfolk has completed the Ohio Creek Watershed Project to protect Chesterfield Heights from flooding. And it all started with a group of college students. The historic neighborhood of Chesterfield Heights is especially vulnerable to rising waters. It sits along the Elizabeth River and was built in 1915 by filling in creeks and soil that once helped absorb water. There are only two roads in and out, and they were swamped by Hurricane Irene in 2011, which served as a wake-up call. But lower-income communities of color like this one are often overlooked when officials invest in climate adaptation. I think Chesterfield Heights was very vulnerable to the flooding issues because it's a community that was on a fixed income for the most part. That's Zach Robinson. He was an architecture student at Hampton University about a decade ago and was part of a school project working with Chesterfield Heights. The goal was to study how urban design could help with flooding. Robinson says many residents have lived there for generations. When I first met the community, their biggest concern was the effect of the flooding, but more so the cost on them, and also keeping these homes in their families. They're very protective of their area. The student group initially thought they could just raise some of those older homes and fill in their basements to solve the issues. We thought we could just solve it all with architecture. And then we learned that that's not the case. So we looked at a community-wide approach from, from that point and focused on urban design solutions. What happened next is rare. The students' research turned into a massive project to transform the community to withstand a major storm, in addition to two and a half feet of sea level rise. City officials heard the ideas and used them in part to apply for a national resilience grant. Norfolk won $112 million from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for the Ohio Creek Watershed Project. It also protects the neighboring Grandy Village public housing complex. Norfolk Resilience Officer Kyle Spencer says they built up multiple layers of defense, including a much-needed overhaul to the area's stormwater infrastructure. Water will run into the streets or these bioswales um, and eventually into the inlets, and they'll work their way to the pump stations. And then the pump stations will kind of force it into the river. So if there was a high surge event, then these pump stations will push it through to make sure it all drains. They also created a 2,500-foot earthen berm, a small concrete flood wall, and some living shoreline along the river. They replaced a brick street with pavers that instead allow water to filter down into the ground. Spencer says they were also able to work in community improvements like a fishing pier and a new resilience park. Residents of Chesterfield Heights were part of the planning and design process along the way, but some still have mixed feelings about the project. It's changing the landscape of their neighborhood and has been disruptive during years of construction. Eric Barrett grew up in the community and says his street never experienced much flooding, so it's hard for some neighbors to understand the need for such massive changes. I like to say the city came to these fine folk and they said, uh, like Noah did, that I'm going to build an ark because it's going to rain and these people never saw water. Uh, they built all these these things, and so these these fine folks are basically waiting for the great flood to happen. At least the ark is completed, right? Spencer acknowledges it's a challenge balancing long-term climate benefits while immediately preserving the neighborhood's character. But he hopes the project can serve as a model. This is a good example of how you can deal with those issues within a historic community without tearing things down and rebuilding back all new. Leaders around Virginia and beyond say they're watching to see if it works. Katherine Hafner, WHRO News.